Hello there, this is David Allen from Mactronic Questions. I want to show you another macro that I made using Keyboard Maestro. What problem do I want to solve? Well, what I want to do is I want to get this logo here. I want to have it so that it is an image that I can use to put into a website. I do this quite often, so it's definitely worth making a macro for. And the way that I would normally do it before was to select the item. So they see there I have it selected and then I would do a copy and then I would have to open up a preview do a save save it as a .png file and then I'd have the job done so it takes a little bit of a while to do that but now instead what I can do is press a keystroke command F1 and that has just made two images for me. The reason it's made two is because while I was making this macro I wasn't able to get it to click on cancel on one of the save dialogues and so I had to save it in the Pixelmator format as well as saving it out as a PNG file. So if I go to my pictures folder now as you can see I've got a folder here which is just set up ready for those and let's have a look at these logos that I have in here. And that's the logo I've just made two of them. As you can see I've got them named as well, application logo number 17. And I can change that and put drag and dictate in there if I wish, no problem at all. So how does this uh, thing work? Let's have a look in Keyboard Maestro. Well it starts off with me pressing the hotkey of Command F1. I could actually have a different activation thing for it if I want to as well. For instance I could have it in a um, macro palette trigger. So what it does first is the Command C keystroke to do the copy. Then it activates Pixelmator. Then it tells it to open a new document. Then it presses OK. What that does, it creates a new document of the correct size. But then what I have to do after that, I have to do the Command V to actually put the copied picture from the clipboard. Then I tell it to do an export because I need to export it out to the PNG file format. And then it clicks on Next. OK, so it gives it the name of App Logo and then I tell it to export. The command W keystroke closes down that window of Pixelmator and then what it does after that is to do a save of the document but this time it gives it the .pxm. So it puts in the text and then it just presses save and that's it done. Quite a useful little macro. I shall be doing some more macros and when I do some that I find that are interesting and maybe sort of might show a bit more about how Keyboard Maestro works, I'll do a little video, show how it did it. And one more thing just to finish off the automation, is that I'm using a thing called Hazel. And what it is, is that I save those files down to the desktop, and on the desktop I have command within Hazel, that is going to look for anything that's got app logos in it. Let me just show you this uh, macro that I've got in here. So what happens is if any of the following conditions are met, so the name starts with app or app logo, then it renames the file with a pattern. So it starts it with application logo. This puts on a number and then extension. So it gives the proper extension to the file. And then what it does then is to move the file into the folder which I've chosen for it, which is application logos. And that is just about it really, the last part of the jigsaw. Now if you haven't done so already, go and click on the like button to like this video if you've found it any use at all. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so that any time I bring something new out you'll be the first to hear about it. Bye bye now, until next time.